Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm on to my next project. Uh, I'm gonna construct a cross for our church, and here's how I'm gonna do it. I've got all the parts already cut on the um, table saw, all ripped down and cut on the miter saw, and I'm gonna piece it together with an open back. I guess it's easier if I just show you rather than tell you about it, so I'm gonna get started making the end caps and gluing the pieces together. Okay, as you saw, I just cut all five end caps uh, that will go on the end of each piece. I only need five because the base of the cross uh, is gonna be opened. So, because there's an outlet on the place where we're mounting it that we can plug in some uh, LED lights to light up behind the cross uh, up on the stage of the church. So, uh, I'm gonna get started gluing these together. What I think I'm gonna do is glue it with pin nails and then pocket hole it from the inside uh, using pocket hole joinery and that should be pretty steady or excuse me that should be uh, pretty sturdy uh, it won't come apart with the glue and the pocket holes all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just go ahead and drill the pocket holes for now All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna piece all this together. I'm gonna pin nail it. I'm gonna glue it, I'm gonna pin nail it. And once it's pin nailed together, what I'll do is cl clamp it and pocket hole it. So my main objective here is to get these pretty straight and square. Uh, I'll probably use clamps here just to squeeze them together while I'm uh, trying to glue them together. Okay, so that's just gonna hold it there for a minute. I'm gonna put the pocket holes 
screws in, which will clamp it in very tight. I'm using one quarter inch uh, fine thread because this of course is hardwood, this is maple. And what I'll do is I'll um, one and one quarter inch screws because we're going into only three quarter inch wood. So hopefully that'll hold nice and tight while we zip these in here. Should be. All right, so I got the first section all complete. Uh, this is gonna be the very top of the cross. Um, and it came out nice. The only thing is that it was a little bit uneven. Um, and I had to plane it down a little bit. Uh, and it was quite a bit of work to do that. So what I think I'm gonna do on the rest of the sections is do a rabbit joint. So maybe it'll fit in straighter and tighter together with a little bit less effort. Okay, so what I'm gonna use here is a uh, rabbit uh, joinery router bit. So it's got a bearing wheel on it right here that you can see there that's gonna go along the edge of the uh, wood and it's gonna cut a three quarter inch uh, slot in there so we can make a rabbit joint out of it. So I'm gonna go all the way around the surface of the face board for the cross and uh, cut that rabbit joint in there. Okay, so I got all the rabbit joints cut out. Uh, came out pretty good. It was a little tough. It was a lot of work with the, uh, just using the router by hand. Uh, makes me think about how uh, I need to invest in a router table one day. Uh, would have made it a lot easier, but you gotta work with what you got. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm get this glued together. Okay, so my next step in the project is to connect the cross piece to the top piece and then when the bottom piece, which is drying over there, the glue is drying on this. You can see that was all clamped up. So I wanna connect uh, these two together and then I'll put the bottom piece on lastly. Um, First thing I had to do was find the center of the cross piece and the center of the top piece, line them up. And what I think I'm gonna do is start out and just uh, put a nail in them before I screw them in so it'll hold, uh, 
it'll hold it still while I pre-drill. I don't want to just drill into there or just screw into there without pre-drilling because it may uh, split the wood, so I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and line everything up, make sure everything's flush on the front, and what I'll do is I'll just tack it in with a couple of nails. All right, now what I'm going to do is uh, I'll make sure it's flush again. It is. Uh, if I had to tap it a little bit it, with a mallet, it would bend the nails a little bit, but still keep it tight. And then what I'll do is I'll pre-drill and uh, put uh, screws in there. together see if I can smooth them down a little bit make it look just a little bit better all right nothing left except for a couple of coats of finish I'm going to be using a uh, bare uh, water-based polyurethane uh, they don't have the brand that I normally use so I'm gonna Give this a try, see how it works. Okay, so I just applied the third and hopefully final coat to the cross. Uh, as you could see, I only had to sand a couple little spots to smooth it out, the finish, as long as they don't have any drips, anything like that, that should be the final coat that I'll need to put on that. Next thing all I have to do is mount a couple of brackets on the bottom so that uh, it can be mounted up at the church near the baptismal, which I'll do next. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on some brackets here so that uh, there's a little shelf behind the baptismal at, at the church where we're gonna put the cross and it's concrete. So I'll put these brackets so we can screw that in so it doesn't tip over. So I'm just gonna take a board, put it on the bottom just to mark the holes off here. Just kind of get it straight there. Okay, so there it is. The cross is all finished. It looks great up there. I had a lot of help with the lighting and everything, uh, but it came out really perfect. Uh, hey, listen. make sure you like and subscribe, and please share this video. Thank you, and God bless.